what are the five best stable coins for you guys to put your money in to take profits in the crypto market as the crypto bull market begins to kick off? We're going to talk about that today. Welcome back to the Blockash podcast channel. Make sure to check out our Substack, blockash.substack.com to keep up with all the latest and greatest content that we produce. All right. So the first one on our list is one of the most notable and noteworthy, Tether. So Tether, it stands as one of the most recognizable and widely used stable coins in the crypto landscape. Its primary claim to fame lies in its unique stability as it is pegged to the US dollar, maintaining a consistent value of $1 per USDT. So one to one. One USDT, one dollar. What sets Tether apart is it's pegged to the US dollar again. So for each Tether token in circulation, there's an equivalent US dollar held in reserve by the Tether Limited Company. This pegging mechanism ensures that the value of Tether always matches that of the US dollar. Tether Limited maintains transparency by publishing daily reports detailing the amount of Tether in circulation, the corresponding USD reserves held. So um, again, the published reserves. USD held. And this is something people give them a hard time for in the past. Uh, you know, is the money there? Is it really backed? Like, is it really one to one? But they've shown it. They've shown it on paper for sure. Um, this commitment to accountability aims to instill trust in its user base. Tether remains a significant player in the stablecoin realm, offering a sense of security to traders and investors in the volatile crypto markets. Its widespread adoption and additional stablecoins pegged to different fiat currencies, such as the euro. So not just the dollar, but they have pegs to the euro, to the Japanese yen, for example, uh, have expanded its utility beyond its initial trading and investment use cases. Um, the second one that I want to cover, and this one is my personal favorite for many reasons, is USD coin. Now, USD coin has emerged as a robust contender in the world of stable coins, launched in 2018 and has gained prominence for its steadfast connection to the US dollar and its potential to provide stability in the turbulent cryptocurrency market. Here's a concise overview of USDC. Um, remains a stable value by pegging itself to the US dollar at a one-to-one -one ratio, just like Tether. For every USDC token in circulation, equivalent amount of US dollars is held in reserve. So it's got reserves. The peg ensures that the value of USDC remains constant and directly aligned with the US dollar. It's managed by the Center Consortium, uh, which is a collaboration between major players in the crypto industry, including Coinbase and Circle. Um, so in the US, Coinbase is a huge player in the crypto market, obviously, as an exchange, uh, as a custodian investment platform. Uh, they lend a lot of credibility to USDC um, and working in tandem with Circle. The involvement of these reputable entities lends further credibility to USDC. Um, USDC's reliability hinges on full collateralization for every USDC token circulating in the market. An equivalent amount of US dollars is safeguarded in reserve. The stringent collateralization approach secures the stability and trustworthiness of USDC. Another added benefit that I really like is the fact that USDC is exchangeable for on many different chains. So it is multi-chain. You have to use the right one per chain, but you can use it across many chains. And the fees on Coinbase is $0. So if you're holding $100 in USDC and you want to convert it to US dollars, Coinbase doesn't charge you anything. It's free. Um, so compared to other stable coins, like there's no fee associated. That's really nice, especially when you have large amounts. Like let's say you have a million dollars in USDC. You want to turn that into million dollars USD in your Coinbase account, send it to your bank account, transaction free. You can do that for zero dollars. I mean, I think you can for up to a million dollars, but I've never had to pay fees on it, which is great. Um, another leading one is Binance. USD. Pardon my handwriting, guys. It's terrible, but um, bear with me. It's the information that's important. So Binance USD or BUSD is a stable coin that has gained recognition for its unwavering stability, firmly pegged at one-to-one. -one. 
um, as a ratio to the US dollar launching collaboration with Paxos. So there's some backing with Paxos there, which is good. Uh, a regulated financial institution and Binance, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges. So just like USDC, there's a lot of backing behind it. Um, BUSD is backed by names that instill confidence and stability. This partnership enhances the robustness of BUSD. So much like USDC, um, this is another very good option. Um, as an added layer of security, BUSD is also fully regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services, the NYDFS. If that means anything to anybody, but it's gone through a lot of scrutiny. Um, and the regulatory oversight ensures that BUSD complies with all relevant laws and regulations, providing users with peace of mind uh, in an otherwise dynamic and evolving crypto landscape. So BUSD, another good option. Keep in mind, all these one-to-ones uh, differ from some that are algorithmically held. And the one-to-ones are held in physical cash, cash equivalents, you know, stuff like that, sometimes bonds or treasuries, but usually cash, cash equivalents, things that are very liquid. Um, whereas there are some like Terra Luna, for example, last year that were algorithmically traded and you have the backing in things that are a little bit more speculative and then that's when they can fall apart. So don't get what happened in 2013 confused. What is, um, the reality for stable coins today and what we have. So die is another one. Um, DAI is a distinctive player in the world of stablecoins. Unlike its fiat-backed counterparts, DAI stands as a decentralized stablecoin, and its uniqueness lies in its collateral being comprised of various cryptocurrencies. Again, um, something that's algorithmically traded, not quite uh, my favorite, to be honest. So, again, backed by many cryptos. It's good. It's never lost peg. So I give it credit for that. But um, I, I don't trust something that is, you know, backed by various cryptocurrencies. I like that it's decentralized in that essence, but it, it makes me nervous. So uh, MakerDAO, the decentralized autonomous organization behind DAI, was established in 2014. Its vision was to create a decentralized stablecoin that would empower anyone, regardless of their location or financial status, to partake in the global economy. So um decentralized thanks to MakerDAO. uh die is decentralized and autonomous nature allows it to be used in a variety of applications especially in the burgeoning decentralized finance space um, so it's great for DeFi. it's much more flexible in terms of what it can be used for and DAI is often associated with a lot of tokens, especially on Ethereum. And it definitely has its place within the, the grand ecosystem of things, uh, especially in DeFi. But again, if you're looking at these long term, I would hold my money probably in USDC or BUSD, maybe Tether too. DAI just makes me a little bit nervous because who knows how that ends up playing out. But they haven't had any problems. They've had a very good track record. Another is true USD, and this will be our fifth and final one. Um, I've actually interviewed uh, one of the guys from True USD quite a while back for Trust Token. I definitely recommend you guys check out that episode on the podcast. Um, true USD is really a testament to the notion that stability in the crypto realm is not just about being pegged to fiat. Um, again, this is where I get maybe a little bit controversial what I'm saying, but it's a stable coin that shines for collateral, uh, for collateralization and added benefits that it brings. Um, it was debuted in 2018. It's a FinTech company trust token specializing in tokenized assets and was one of the stable coins introduced by trust token with others, including true, uh, GBT, AUD, CAD. So multi-currency, not just USD. Uh, the backbone and its stability is a collateralization model again. So for every TUSD token circulation, there's an equivalent US dollar held in escrow accounts. This approach ensures that the true value of US, uh, the value of true USD remains stable and fully backed by real world assets. Um, USD 
in escrow. So just cash sitting in an account. Uh, True USD operates on the Ethereum blockchain, which translates to fast and cost-effective transactions. I don't know about that, but um, it does operate completely fine. Users can send and receive to USD quickly with, with minimal transaction fees, making it a preferred choice for those who need to move funds uh, rapidly, particularly in times of volatile market conditions. Um, uh, was not only maintains its value well in the market, but also has set a precedent for trust and transparency. Its collateralization model, daily attestations, and utility in DeFi make it a reliable choice for those seeking a stable coin that goes beyond mere pegging and opens uh, possibilities for tokenized assets. Okay, so uh, true USD is not as controversial as I thought. I thought it was actually, you know, collateralized by other things than just US dollars, but. Um, working our way up here. So at number five, again, true USD, it's really good. It's young. It's something that I think has a lot of potential to gain popularity. It's just not as quite as adopted as something like DAI. That's why DAI is at four. DAI is algorithmically traded with crypto. It's backed in a different collateralization model than just through USD. Um, so it's not my favorite, but it's stable. Uh, Binance USD, again, has the backing of Paxos and Binance and the New York uh, Department of Financial Services. Um, you have USDC coin, which is my personal favorite, uh, has backing by Coinbase and Circle, and then you have Tether. Um, you know, probably the oldest crypto stable coin in the space, uh, showing and flexing its longstanding ability to be there and to hold its value and to remain pegged to the US dollar. So um, Tether and USD have always been my top choices. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, what your five stable coins are, which ones you think are interesting in the market. We'll, we'll talk about that on a future episode as well. Um, but yeah, comment your thoughts down below, like, subscribe. And if you haven't already, um, or if you have already, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next.